find the real value of x 2 raised to power 3x plus 2 raised to power s is equal to 10. Hi everyone, welcome to my class, the Olu Stats class where we teach mathematics and statistics. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Please subscribe for more new videos. This question is an exponential equation. This is an exponential equation and in this class we want to find the real value of x. That is the positive value of x. Now solution. Solution. Then we have 2 raised to power 3x plus 2 raised to power s is equal to 10. Now let y is equal to 2 raised to power x. This implies that y is equal to 2 raised to power s. That is, anywhere you see 2 raised to power s, you put y there. Then we have y raised to power 3 plus y is equal to 10. Then this can also be expressed as y can also be expressed as y is equal to minus 4y plus 5y but before we do that let's go here we have from this equation we have y raised to power 3 plus y if this plus 10 come to the other side to become minus 10 minus 10 is equal to zero. Now, why this implies that we have y raised to power three minus four y plus five y minus ten is equal to zero. That is, minus 4y plus 5y is also the same thing as y. Then, let's factor y out. We have y into y square minus 4 plus 5 into y minus 2 is equal to 0. From this expression, that is y times y squared, it will give you y raised to power 3. Then y times minus 4, it will give you minus 4y. Then here is plus 5 times y, it will give you 5y. Then 5 times 2, it will give you 10. This is different of 2 squared, which can be expressed as y into y minus 2 y minus 2 into y plus 2 plus 5 into y minus 2 is equal to 0. But something is common. Let's factor y minus 2 out. y minus 2 out. We have y minus 2 then into this y times y we have y square plus 2 y that is y times 2 2 y plus 5 is equal to 0 then we have this implied that we have y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y square plus 2y plus 5 equal to 0 but this is negative value 
So that one has no solution. And remember, the question says, find the real value of y. So oh, let's check. This is negative. That is from our general formula. We have minus b plus or minus square root of square root of b square minus 4ac. Then this implies that our b is 2. Then we have, let's express the one in the bracket. We have square root of what? 2 square is 4. 2 square minus then 4ac. 4 times a is what? 1. 1 times c is 5. That is 5. Then we have 2 square is 4. Then f minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 5. That is 20. 4 minus 20. We have minus 16, which is negative. So we don't need this. Then what we are looking for now is, let's see. We need to get our real value. Remember y, y minus 2 is equal to 0. Then y is equal to, if this minus 2 cross the other side, it becomes plus 2. 2. But we say initially y is equal to 2 raised to power x. Then anywhere you see y, you substitute for y. Then anywhere you see y, you put 2 raised to power x there. Then this implies that we have y is equal to 2, which is equal to 2 raised to power s is equal to 2. Then, which, and 2 is something as 2 raised to power 1. This implies that 2 raised to power s is equal to 2 raised to power 1. They have the same base. This one cancels this. Then, x s is equal to 1. Answer s is equal to 1 in our answer but let's check let's check let's check to confirm our answer if it is correct or not <laughs> 2 raised to power 3x plus 2 raised to power x we say it's equal to what 10 then anywhere you see as you put one there that is 2 raised to power 3 into 1 plus 2 raised to power 1. Then 2 raised to power 3 is equal to what? 8 plus 2 raised to power 1 is 2. Then 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So meaning that our answer is very, very correct. Therefore, the real value of S is equal to 1. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.